G'day everyone, Jamie Chapman for another episode of 3 Minute Histology. In this video, we're going to be continuing our look at epithelial tissue, and in particular, this video is going to focus on stratified squamous, non cratinized type of epithelium. So, stratified means it's multiple layers thick, squamous means that the surface cells near the lumen are actually flattened like uh, scales, and uh, non cratinized means that the cells have not undergone cell death and they actually, we find nuclei all the way to the surface. So there's a number of uh, areas in the body that we can look at to look at this type of epithelium. So we're gonna have a quick look at each of these uh, in uh, our three minutes. So let's start our timer. Okay, so what we've got here is a section of the esophagus. Uh, it's got a very well-developed muscularis layer which causes this sort of folding nature uh, to our epithelium. But if we come in here, this is human um, esophagus and so it's lined by a stratified squamous non-cratinized epithelium. We find that type of epithelium uh, in areas where we have potential for friction but also in a moist environment. So the esophagus which transports our food bolus from our uh, oral cavity, our pharynx, um, down to our stomach, actually has a potential for abrasion and of course it's a very moist environment. Now the way you can actually distinguish a stratified epithelium from a um, pseudo-stratified epithelium is the layer of basal cells. If you can see this nice line of basal cells, then you'll almost certainly be looking at a stratified epithelium because these are our stem cells. The cells which make up this lining then undergo mitosis. One of those cells moves up into the upper layers and eventually they migrate their way to the surface. As they do, you can hopefully see here, the cells change in appearance. So down the bottom here, they often appear either cuboidal or sometimes even columnar in some uh, instances. You can see a little bit here. And then as they migrate up, they become more and more flattened and eventually they become the squamous type of epithelium. So it's multiple layers thick. The cells begin as cuboidal in shape, but eventually become these flattened scale-like structures on the surface. And you can see nuclei all the way to the top there. And that's classic of a stratified squamous, non-cratinized type of epithelium. So we're going to have a look at some other examples. I think this section here is a really nice one. This is a section of the vagina. Again, it's exposed to the external environment. It has potential for abrasion uh, and it's a moist environment. But this is a resin section. So the resolution is actually really great here. And we can actually see this lovely line of basal cells. And then we can actually see the sort of transition of these cells. One thing that's really obvious in this section is the presence of all these um, desmosome junctions between the adjacent cells. And that holds these cells very tightly together and prevents their separation. The cells eventually migrate the way up. In, now in the vagina after puberty, the epithelial cells actually begin to accumulate glycogen, which is an inert substance and therefore it doesn't stain. So all this sort of pale region here is actually the glycogen within the cytoplasm. The cells uh, eventually make their way to the surface. We can see this sort of flattened squamous type of appearance and you can see them on the surface there and eventually they get shed. Uh, this is a section of the lip and so out here we've got the outer thin skin and then here we can see this thick region here. This is the oral mucosa. So the oral cavity is lined by a stratified squamous non-cratinized epithelium as well. Here's our basal cells, here's our surface cells, flattened squamous cells all the way to the surface and lastly um, we'll just skip this one here, we can actually look at the anorectal junction. So over here is the anal canal. Again, uh, we've got our stratified squamous uh, thick epithelium. Here's a little bit of an artifact disrupted there. But if we zoom in, we can actually see these flattened nuclei of our squamous cells all the way to the surface. Anyway, that was a very quick uh, round the world view of um, the regions where we find uh, the stratified squamous non-cratinized type of epithelium. Remembering we're thinking about regions which are in a moist environment, have a potential for abrasion, and so they're found in very restricted areas within the human body. I hope you found that useful. Uh, stay tuned for other videos on epithelial tissue, and we'll see you in the next one. Hooroo!